These images were captured by my friend and astrophotographer out of Dallas, Texas. His work has been featured by NASA and magazines like Reflector and Spica. Taking these images requires patience and an understanding of astronomy. Hi, my name is Andrew Klinger and I am an astrophotographer. So what I'm doing this weekend is imaging the Swan Nebula. I got my buddies Kurt and Jeremy out here. They're also doing some imaging and we're just gonna enjoy the night sky. Mount to my target so you can get a, a shot of it doing, Moving. doing its thing. So a typical night of astrophotography involves setting up uh, the scope, the mount, the camera, laptop. It could take about you know 45 minutes and then once it gets all up and running, that telescope is taking pictures of the same target all night long. And while your normal camera exposures are typically a hundredth or two hundredth of a second long, uh, we are shooting five to ten minute long exposures. This allows the camera to soak up all the light that our eyes are unable to see and show us the nebula and dust and galaxies in the night sky. A single photo, just like on your phone, would be grainy. Uh, what we do is take many, many photos of the same target and average out all that grainy noise. So right now it's, it's something called plate solving. It took a picture where my it thinks my target is and it's comparing that picture to a catalog and it'll see how far off I am really from my target. And then it'll move my mount. It might take like three or four iterations for it to get perfectly aligned. To get these detailed images of nebula and galaxies, uh, you actually have to drive quite far away from the cities. Uh, if you imagine the city as a big dome of light, that could extend, you know, like a two hours drive to actually get out of that light. And not only are you dealing with the light from the city, but you have to go out when there's no moon in the sky as well. Because the moon produces quite a lot of light when you're in the middle of nowhere. Just doing a little maintenance here. It's a light. A light? Okay, I'm just telling it to focus right now. I'm just basically telling it to move the little focuser knob. It's, it's a focuser right there. It turns it. This right here is the focuser assembly. And if you, you can barely see it, but it'll move it. I'm going to tell it to move. It moved up just a little bit. And this camera, don't worry, you can walk in front of this one all day long. This is just for fun. Basically nice pointing my uh, mount uh, to the North nice. Star. But uh, it's a little Damn tedious. Sorry. There we go. So as the seasons change, different parts of the night sky are visible to us. And if I'm unable to get out uh, to do astrophotography, like if it's cloudy, or the variables just aren't working in my favor, I might have to wait until next year to finish a project. Typically, I do finish an image in one or two months, and that equates to about six or seven nights out imaging. And it may seem frustrating, but I'm a very patient person, and that's just all part of the process to me. That baby's gonna come alive, and we'll be looking through it tonight. Look at some of the planets and everything. You guys seen uh, the rings of Saturn? Uh, I have not. Uh, oh. Rings of Saturn, Saturn are fucking you're like, dope. Dude. Whoa! Yeah. If you see it with your naked eye, it's just like uh, especially on a night of good seeing. It's impressive, I'll say that. So the star alignment procedure, basically, we tell it what star that we chose in the hand controller, and then we have to point to that star with its scope and then press a line. So once this thing's like aligned, we can tell it what object to go to in the hand controller and it'll automatically point to that object. That's what we're trying to get to. So that we can like actually have fun with it rather than press buttons on this controller all day. I'm about to tell this guy here to slew to the star to neb. I'm gonna check focus. Get it focused up and prepared for the night. Once I've captured all the images for the Swan Nebula, I'll spend about three or four afternoons to compile all the data and process the image just as a normal photographer would. 
and then hopefully print it out and display it, show it to friends and family. If you want to check out my work or ask me any questions about the process, you can visit my Instagram, ak underscore astro.